What's going on, Vault Dwellers? Top Rank and New back at it again with another video for Fallout 76. And today I am putting together uh, what I'm hoping is the ultimate lead farming video. Uh, this game's been out for a year. There's a lot of videos out there. I've created some videos. Uh, but, you know, uh, I think this video, it's designed to show you all the valuable locations that I've come across in the wastelands over the last year. In fact, I'm going to be showing you a total of 14 locations that I think you should go uh, visit in order to farm lead. I'm not going to be talking about the resource gathers or anything like that or workshops, but just places where you can actually go and pick up the lead. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going around the entire map. I'm going to start at the bottom. We're going to do a whole circle uh, counterclockwise or clockwise around the entire map uh, to pick up lead. Uh, hopefully this video is helpful. And if it is, consider giving it a thumbs up and don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started and see much how much lead we can pick up with this run. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start off at the bottom of the map. In fact, the, the place we're going first is the Hornwright Estate. And the reason why we're going there, uh, this is in the uh, Toxic Valley, uh, south of the map uh there is a gym up here uh that has some weights in there and weights of course carry wet uh lead of course the problem is weights are also heavy uh so luckily there is a place where we can scrap down these weights right in here in the the, the horn right estate when we get up the elevator uh there's going to be some workbenches right up here to the left but you may have to lock pick these doors what we're going to do is just go down this set of stairs and uh there are enemies here usually robots uh hang left at the bottom of the stairs and here is our gym uh and we got all kinds of weights that we can break down here pick these guys up It is not very difficult to become over encumbered when it comes to picking up weights because a 40 pound weight does weigh 40 pounds. Once you got that, if you're over encumbered, you can head back up the stairs where we came. And we can scrap that lead. What does that give us here? 49 lead to start with all right so 49 so far let's go ahead and head a little north our next location is probably going to see more familiar charleston fire department this of course being close to the poseidon energy plant and you probably came here when you did the responder missions all right so there's been plenty of videos on um the charleston fire department chances are you uh you already know about this but it's an important one to keep included there as we go into the door there's going to be a gym in the uh the north side of this building here same exact thing we got all of these weights that we can pick up uh and we also have a workbench where we can break these items down so if you're over encumbered you shouldn't be over encumbered for too long Pick up those free weights on the bottom floor. And I think there's more on the wall there. Perfect. Once we got those, we can head over to our workbench, which is right around the corner. Fire breather detected. Stay frosty. Here we are. And break those down for 74 lead so far. Pretty good. Keep an eye out also for paint cans. I think I've seen a paint can in here before. But if not, not a big deal. Let's move on. All right, our next stop is going to be Camden Park, uh, close to the Nuka factory. All of this, of course, still being south of Volt 76. And all of these are relatively low areas as well. No weights this time. We're just here to pick up some can chimes because these guys have tin cans on them. Uh, and there's two, like all of these are going to be around this roller coaster here. Two in the front, two in the middle. And we do want to go to the back because there's two more. If we come out to the side here, we should be able to take a shortcut more or less. Two in the back. And usually uh, there's some traps here like the one I just ran through. 
Here's the two that we're looking for. All right, so a total of six cans, uh, chimes there. As you can see, the six chimes gave us a total of 54 cans. So when we scrap that, that's uh, plenty of steel, but also 54 lead. Next location should look really familiar. We're going to the Green Country Lodge. This is one of the very first locations you come across when you first started the game. Uh, and uh, this is another location. Die, opossum. All right, he had it coming. I didn't like the way he looked at me. Uh, another familiar location that's got the weights to it. Uh, there is, of course, plenty of crafting benches to uh, scrap this as well because you'll probably be over encumbered here. This is a strength build. He's got lots of carry weight capacity, so I'm usually pretty fine, but we want to make sure we pick up all the free weights there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and scrap this, but where we scrap this at is also gonna have some paint cans for some extra lead. So let's go to our scrapping place. There's several paint cans across Flatwoods, uh, but I don't think it's really worth uh, traveling to, but this one is right next to a workbench. Let's scrap these weights and see how much we get here. That's 41, uh, but if we grab up these paint cans, that should add a little extra since we're in the area and some bobby pens why not so 10 more lead what did i say 41 so 51 there all right so that was location number four next location is going to be volt tech university and this is actually going to have two locations to farm for lead so this is technically location number five and six this is the main building and what we're going to do is outrun these bothersome mole rats and we're going to come into the south entrance now when you get into the south entrance the first door on the right is going to have itself a gym here and again we're going to pick up all of these free weights and uh, we got a place nearby that we can break this down if you're worried about being over encumbered. All right, once we got all of those weights, we can just head down the room. I think it's the second door on the left is gonna have a workbench. Here we go. So that's 38 lead right there. All right, what we're gonna do for the next location is just keep going down the room. Now this door might be closed. Uh, if it is, you're gonna have to go outside and go into the uh, the north building uh, and do it. But if, if this door is open, pretty straightforward. Just hop down in here. What we're in, uh, doing is, uh, you can see the enemies are super low in here. So you can grab this lead at any time. Uh, so we're gonna go down to the bottom here do 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 a little bit of traveling here i'm surprised these people didn't survive in their fake vault all right so we're in this like common room area and you can see these little exercise bikes down on the bottom floor and we got ourselves some weights I'll over here so in this case it's not a lot all by itself but since these two locations are really close to each other uh, it makes uh, Volt Tech a good location to farm some lead. As we scrap the lead from our second location, you can see we got another 24. So what did I say, like 38, 24, 62? All right, location number seven. This is going to be north of the Volt Tech University. It's Eastern Regional Penitentiary. And here we're going to be grabbing up a lot of lead because we're going to be doing a combination of paint cans, uh, the tin chimes or the can chimes, uh, as you can see right here, right when we get into the, uh, the building from the west, we got a hole in the wall, that's two wind chimes there. Uh, as we get into the center area, we got a place where you could get ripped in prison. Plenty of weights lying down on the floor here that we're going to be picking up. And we're gonna be going inside in a moment here to pick up some extra um, tin cans, if you will. Uh, but if you do become over encumbered, we got workbenches right here. And to make it even better, we also have 
paint cans lying around all over the place that we can grab up for some extra lead that doesn't hurt at all. Any other paint cans? I think that's about it. All right, I'm over encumbered, so let's break these down. Uh, that is 74 lead so far, and if we go inside, we're going to get a few more. Let's go into the building. Once inside, there's plenty of goodies in here, but we're just really focusing more on the can chimes here. We got one setting up right here. Bad guys in here are pre pretty low level usually. Two more right next to that. And there's a few more that we're going to grab up right down the hall here. We got one, two, and three. So that is, what, a total of six? So that's 54 more tin cans as we scrap, uh, scrap that. That's another 54 lead plus some steel bonus. All right, I lost count of how much lead we've collected, but we are at the eighth location. This time we're heading toward the... Uh, Palace of the Winding Path. This is in the Savage Divide. The enemies are going to get a little more difficult here. Of course, their actual ranks can vary. Uh, when we fast travel here, we're going to go to the side here. This is what the east side of the building. We're going to have this little employees only section in here. Uh, and these employees have a really weak gym available to them, as you can see here. Uh, pick up all of these weights again and not a whole lot this time but there is a couple of scrapping sessions and some caps right there on the top if you want some extra caps since you're right there uh, if we head down to the the little basement here there's plenty of places where you can scrap these weights if you're over encumbered Twenty-nine lead. Not so much on that one, but still worth the trip. All right, so there's only a few uh, can chimes here, but you know it's so close to the winding path that it's worth a visit. This is the Sunny Top Ski Lanes. What is this? Location number nine. And as we go there, uh, the the chimes are all really close together. Uh, in my experience, there's usually super mutants around here, but as you go into the side door, you got one, two, and three if I can grab it there we go uh, and if we head back outside there's another door here kill the blood bug and there's another set of chimes there power armor if you need it and other goodies let's move on I guess we could break down those four chimes first let's take a look here so 36 chimes so that's 36 lead as you can see so far we're at 483 so we're uh, we got quite a bit all right what is this location number 10 this is the uh pleasant valley ski resort another common one although i've seen other videos where they miss a few chimes here we're gonna grab these three right off the main entrance of the cabin uh we can go down here there's gonna be some free weights hanging out in uh, this box for whatever reason seems like an odd place to find some free weights some cannonballs in the event that you actually use a broadsider. And then we got some chimes that are hung way too high to do anything. I don't know why they put them up here. Marsupial helps, but I don't think it's required to grab these. And there's still a few more that a lot of people forget to mention. If you head towards the back here, uh, we're going to the valley cabins. And there's not too many. I think there's like three more chimes over here. As we come in here, hang in one, two, and three. Ooh, and I forgot to kill somebody. All right, and as we break that down, we have a total of 95 lead, so quite a bit from that run, too. Location number 11 is Hawk's Refuge, and there's only about five tin cans in here. Uh, but I always come here not just for the lead, but it's also got a chance of a legendary guy popping up. So I feel like it's worth it. Plus, it's just barely east from the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. This is what Hawk's Refuge. So as we come inside, there the cans aren't usually too hard to find. There, there are some hiding in some vines here. Uh, but in this case, you can see we caught a legendary just slip in there. There we go. 
And I don't find a legendary here all the time, but enough to make it worth me coming here. Like 50-50. There's two more cans hiding here. So that's a total of three cans. Four cans here. And there's one more kind of hiding. There's gonna be a little mole rat that pops up here. And where's it at? See in this, uh, those little vines. If you didn't know to look for it, you might miss that. So five cans total there. All right, so as we break that down, that gives us, uh, 54. So, uh, of dyslexia. 45 lead there. Plus a chance at a legendary. Alright, location number 12 is pretty well known for grinding legendaries and XP. We're going to West Tech Research Center. Uh, this is a great place to kill some mute super mutants and good chances of legendary spawning. Uh, but we're not here for that. We're here for lead and what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the roof of the building so we don't need to bother going inside here. Uh, up on the roof there is a place where somebody got busy painting art for whatever reason. That's what the end of the world needs. Uh, and because of that, there's a handful of paint cans that we can grab up. As long as we can navigate there. There we go. So inside we got all this abstract art going on. And where there is art, there is paint cans. So be sure to grab those guys up. Before you take off, if you look up there, there's a little lawn chair. It's going to have a few more paint cans here. And a perfectly preserved piece of pie if you feel hungry or famished from all of this. Lots of great stuff at West Tech, but all we're worried about today is lead. As we scrap that, that's going to give us 40 lead. All right, we're almost done with our full circle around the map. Our 13th location is the monorail elevator uh, close to Cranberry Bog. I think this is still technically the Savage Divide. And what we're going to do is take the elevator up, if I can remember where the elevator is. There it is. I'm on the wrong side of the column. All right, so we're just going up here. Now, the thing about this location is uh, there's no way to scrap your lead. I don't think there's a, a crafting bench around here for you to scrap. Well, that was a bit of a noob move. So I died and uh, yeah, I just lost all my lead. Not only that, but on the map, it doesn't even give me the op option to retrieve my dropped gear. Either way, okay, so that's gonna make it harder for me to keep track of how much lead we have. I'm gonna have to go back through this video and count. Nonetheless, there's a bunch of weights over here. Maybe you should use power armor when you get up here because it kind of sucks when you die like a noob like that, right? Here we go. More free weights. I don't know who dragged all of these free weights up here, but uh, either way, more lead. So that's location number 13. Man, I did have to die like close to the end of this, right? There's one more location that we're going to go to, and everybody probably knows it by now. It's the Lucky Hole Mine. It's personally my least favorite place to grind because you do kind of have to look for the lead veins in this case. Nonetheless, it's an important place to grind, so we're going to head there now. All right, last location, and it's actually my least favorite location, is the Lucky Hole Mines. And it's because you have to have a keen eye to find the nodes that we're picking up. This time we're not actually picking up weights or tin cans, but we're actually digging up uh, lead veins. And that's why I'm wearing my excavator power armor, because I do get bonus for what I dig up while wearing my excavator power armor. 
All right, once we're inside, I know we said we're not picking up tin cans, but one of the first things you're going to find is tin cans. So we are going to pick that up. But what we're looking for here, and I don't do this one very often, is there's nodes with lead on the walls. Lead veins is what we're looking for. And uh, there's certain parts throughout this mine that have a lot of them, but essentially you can find them throughout the mine everywhere. And they're not that hard to find once you know what to look for, but you do have to have a bit of a keen eye to spot all of them. And I just personally find that it's a bit of a nuisance, so I rarely bother coming here. But nonetheless, it's a good source to know in the event that you find yourself struggling to keep up with all of your lead needs. Ah, killer crickets! All right, so here we go. You can see these nodes. They, they're a little darker. They got like chunks of lead in them, and you just want to pick those up. Uh, again, if you have the excavator power armor, you're going to get a bonus. And you can find them at dead ends more specifically. But this is a relatively big mine. So this, in my opinion, gets real old relatively quickly. See, there's another one. They kind of blend in. Now, sometimes you can pick these guys twice or three times. So just because you uh, hit the node once, don't, don't walk away just yet. You can pick that more. I know a lot of players love the Lucky Hole Mine because they have a lot more patience than I do, but what can I say? I'm lazy. I just want to pick up the cans and the weights and be done with it. So let me go through this mine and see what I can come up with and see how much lead we can collect. All right, so I did get quite a bit of ore in my excavator power armor. I got over 200 ore, and that's kind of the downside is you do have to smelt this at a chem station, but you do end up walking away with quite a bit of lead, uh, which is why it's so valuable. It just takes a little more time. Um, I don't think the chemist perk card makes this double. I have it equipped anyways, though. Let's take a look. We'll take that off. But I do have super duper just to get some extra lead because why not? In fact, let me go ahead and store all my lead that I have on me right now. That way we can tell exactly how much lead we're going to get from this. It's going to be quite a bit and I can see why it's everyone's favorite place to go. But it's just not mine. We also did get some crystals there as I guess a bonus, but there are easier ways to get crystals in the wastelands. And the downside to this is you do have to consume acid to make all of this lead. But on the plus side, you do get plenty of XP. But if you don't have a lot of lead in your inventory, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of acid in your inventory, well then this particular location quickly becomes worthless. And, and personally, this isn't my choice on how to spend lead. But for the sake of this video, and the fact that I got plenty of lead, why not? We're gonna have quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of lead by the time this is all said and done. Ah, uh, now I'm wasting it on crystal. Ooh, so we got 750 lead from that last run. Quite a good run there. Uh, I do need to count up all of my locations to see exactly how much lead we got from all 14 of these locations since I died and it's no longer in my inventory. Ooh, all right, so I edited the, <laughs> I edited the video. I took a second look and we're just shy of 1500 lead. That should be more than enough to keep you occupied for a little while. Uh, 1,483, and I did go ahead and put a little counter up in the corner throughout the entire video just to show you how much you're going to get from each location. Uh, obviously, you might not want to visit all of these locations, but I think it's good to know because, you know, the, the more you know. Do, 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 do. Anyways, yeah, less than 1,500. Pretty good run. 
Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and found it helpful. And if you did, consider giving this video a thumbs up. Also, once again, don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. It really helps out the channel. I do appreciate you guys watching. For those of you who have sat through this, I don't know, 25 minute long video, you guys are awesome. Appreciate the support and we will see you all next time.